Hello YouTubers, YYC Busy Mom here, and today we're going to show you what I've crocheted lately. Little Missy, can you show me your gloves? Yeah, little she loved her gloves so much last year that I made her another pair. They are stitched in one piece and folded over and stitched down the side. They are done in back rows, back loops, I should say, to give it that ridge. Um, in the pattern, I increased the cuff. I noticed last year's cuff, and I'll grab that right now. Last year's cuff was short. It was too short. And you notice that they do stretch out. Um, trying to get a good picture here. It's a little dark. But the cuff here uh, really did stretch. Um, I find acrylic stretches out, sort of flattens out, makes it wide. So if your child has a skinnier hand, you might want to cut back the rows a bit. And uh, they will stretch out after a, a winter of wear. And that's what I did in this case. Increase the cuff longer and skinnied up the hands. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you what I'm doing for a hat. Watch your hand, thank you. On the hat here we have one of those magic circles where you uh, stitch into the, do single crochets into the circle and then pull the string and, or yarn tight to create the circle. And in this case I did six single crochets in it, tightened it up, and then increased in each stitch around. I did not slip stitch join, as you can tell. It uh, continues on in one big whirl here. In this case, in this pattern, because I'm doing one single color, it's not a big deal. If you're doing a color change, you're going to want to slip stitch before you start your next row. Like I said, I didn't need to in this case. So the first row, again, is six single crochets in the magic loop, tightened up, increase in each stitch, giving you 12. Your next row is a single crochet, and then on the next stitch, it's an increase to two single crochets. The next one after that is going to be a single crochet, a single crochet, and an increase, two single crochets in one spot. And then you increase as you go along each row with an each additional single crochet, okay? And when I got to the row that would measure nicely on my daughter's head, I had eight single crochets and nine and ten increase and then from there I'm doing single crochets. Now my kids do wear these a lot and they stretch out and so my stitches seem to be loose but I don't know they are pretty rough. You want me to make you a sweater too? A green A green sweater? Okay we'll see about that. And green shoes. And green shoes? Oh my. Okay I guess I got my order set out for me huh? So anyways, uh, this is going to be a solid single, a solid color beanie, and we're going to add some de decorations on the top. Um, you'll notice, if you're new to crochet, you're going to have different patterns. This here is the wrong side, actually, and this side would be the right side. They've got little V's for the right side and little seeds, as they call them, on the other side. Um, I haven't decided what side I'm going to use. I, I normally put the right side and the outside but who knows we'll see what what fits better with the pattern that I'm going to make and I will update you as I go along and uh, we'll see what we end up with the pattern at the end for decorations the mittens I'm hoping to put some flowers or something on I haven't quite decided it all depends on what I feel like to do with the with the beanie well enjoy